Okay, I think this is probably the last time that I'm going to reply, at least on this instance, because this is starting to turn more into a trolling session. I've already given the instance of where Jesus Christ is declared to be God's begotten. Which one is it, common sense Christianity? Stop moving goalpost. When is Jesus the begotten son? Again, apparently Faithful didn't watch my video and doesn't understand the term begotten has variable meanings. Okay, I already said that Jesus was begotten from the womb because that term means to be born. Again, there's many different meanings. What Tony is saying, begotten in the sense of being begotten from the Father, is at the resurrection. And this is true. What you're trying to do is hold to a fast rule that begotten simply can only mean one thing. It doesn't. So what Tony is trying to say that, no, Jesus wasn't begotten in the womb, in the, in the true sense of what the term means, he was begotten at the resurrection because this is when God declares him to be the son. On this day, I have begotten you, Romans 1, 4, Acts 13. So you're really twisting what Tony is saying when I know what Tony is trying to get at, okay? He's trying to tell you that the begetting, the declaration of the begetting of the Son is at the resurrection. You want me to believe that when Jesus was born, God said, this is my Son today, I have begotten you in the book of Psalms. When did God ever say to baby Jesus, you are my Son, today I have begotten you? I don't think that's in the Bible, faithful. See, so should I trust you who really wants me to believe that the Son, according to you, who already existed as God's begotten Son up in heaven, now is going to make a really big statement that now he's also God's begotten Son because he's born from the womb of a woman. It becomes ridiculous and silly. Okay, so which is it? Which is Jesus' begotten Son? When is it? Again, the word has different meanings. When is God declaring Jesus to be his son? And when did God say, on this day I have begotten you? At his birth? No. At his resurrection? Yes. So, faithful, if you don't get the basics of this and don't understand that the word has different meanings, and then try to say that God was declaring Jesus to be a son on that day at the birth, then I don't know what else to tell you, faithful. You're just not sticking to scripture. And again, this is another artifact of a pre-existent belief. And I think that you're just trolling me at this point. So this is going to be the last time that I respond to this particular thing because I just don't see any benefit of it. You're not sticking to scripture. You believe in a pre-existence of Christ when you can't show me Christ in the Old Testament at all, somebody doing anything. And then you're not declaring what God declared at the resurrection. You're trying to say that God declared Jesus to be the son at his birth, and that is just not biblical. Okay, faithful, I love you, but I think that's going to be the last comment that I have for you on this one. Okay, God bless.